I can open a brokerage account in 24 hours, and 24 hours later, I can be trading on the Tokyo Stock Exchange in yen that I use dollars to buy on equities. I could even get a loan from a Japanese bank, or then I could be trading in South Africa. I could repatriate all that money. My government is not going to try to take half of it or kill me for doing this. Um, I can get loans, I can incorporate companies all around the world, I can wire transfer anywhere I want. That is privileged banking. Very few people have that. So what does it mean if you take that capability and you turn it into a capability that can be accessed from a text messaging Nokia 1000 phone that is in the hands of 4 billion people, more people that have access to clean water? In the most rural and remote parts of the world, they now have these devices because they give them a landline to the world, they give them uh, a lifeline to the world of communication. What if that phone simultaneously is a banking terminal, a loan origination terminal, a remittance terminal, uh, an international credit terminal, an equity trading terminal, an import-export payment terminal?